This is an epidemic like we've never seen before. It's a nationwide epidemic that kills tens of thousands of people every year across racial, economic, and geographic lines. Van Ingram is the executive director of the Kentucky Office of Drug Control Policy. We have exposed millions and millions of Americans to opioids who never would have went to the corner and bought drugs. They never would have went to a drug dealer. They were exposed to opiates through a legitimate medical need or they found them in a medicine cabinet. Senate Bill 192 was signed into law in March of last year to combat the state's growing heroin problem. The law focuses on harm reduction and treatment options for addicts seeking help. The five key provisions include penalties, treatment, needle exchanges, naloxone, and Good Samaritan. Under the law, drug dealers caught with more than two grams of heroin now face tougher penalties. Which says that the prosecution can prove that you brought drugs into this heroin into this state that you intended to, to distribute for sale, that that's a separate charge from the tra actual trafficking charge. Uh, so border com communities like Louisville and Northern Kentucky have, have used that law successfully. The law allocates more money for substance abuse programs, makes it easier for treatment centers to expand, and covers more rehabilitation under Medicare. The law also makes it possible for local government to create needle exchanges to give out clean needles, which supporters say stops the spread of diseases and brings addicts into health departments where they'll be more likely to seek help for their addictions. Studies show that a person is five times more likely to get into treatment if they participate in a syringe exchange program. So. Naloxone reverses overdoses and under the law it's more widely available. The Good Samaritan provision encourages people to call for help when someone has overdosed rather than running away in fear they'll be arrested. If you call 911 and you stay with a person, if they have, you have a small amount of drugs or paraphernalia on you, you won't be arrested. Um, and that's le led to more people calling uh, and then save more lives. But the lingering question is, can we do more? I think that we should put uh, some more efforts into prevention uh, and education. Uh, Right now, we, I don't know that we spend a great deal of time in our school system uh, talking to kids about these things. Uh, I think the way they learn about most of that information is on the street uh, from a friend, which is usually not the best way. What would be the next step? In the short term, it's uh, greater access to naloxone and better use of our treatment system we have. In the long run, it's increasing the availability of treatment. Experts say this heroin epidemic has been two decades in the making, and it's not going to be solved overnight. Reporting from Frankfurt, I'm Gianna Caserta, WLKY News. According to the Kentucky Office of Drug Control Policy, fatal overdoses totaled nearly 1,250 1, last year. Heroin was detected in 28% of the cases. The heroin law made naloxone more readily available. We have a link on our website where you can find locations near you where you can purchase the naloxone kits. Just go to WLKY.com. Hey